Hello everyone in Cyberworld. Welcome back to another video. I'm Jennifer, aka Mrs. Poor Man. And I'm Richard, also known as Mr. Poor Man. This week we introduce our video to you from Waimea Valley. So if you've seen any of our previous videos, you probably know that we work in a very small workshop in a garage. But at the end of the night, the rule is both cars must be parked in our garage. So based on that, we don't have a ton of room and um, that's why we've done some things on, on, uh, on the wall here. Um, but we've done some additional things that we have built, for example, our uh, battery charger and some additional space for some tools. We've got several things here and, and on some other walls that we recently put together. And let's go ahead and take a look at how we did these. And with that, cue music. music. Prior to starting on this piece, we tested this build on a separate piece of wood. The first section was going to be for various types of pliers, so I drilled appropriate size holes for each tool. The next section was for Phillips and standard screwdrivers. I then chiseled out a space for the tape measure. Then came holes for various types of bits. This is an example of how we mounted the caddy on the pegboard. Wow, here's some empty space we can use. I've always wanted a station for my battery charger, but I think I can add a couple extra shelves as well. We actually built this without plans.
After installing the shelves, it needed some color to match the walls, so I decided to paint it. We made a simple bracket to hang the clamps. For the last project, I needed a place to store all of my Craig jigs, so I decided to make some shelves and place it in one of the last spaces available on a wall. So Mr. Poorman cut the boards down the side. and Mrs. Poor Man made pocket holes for assembly. Next we marked where the shelves are going to be placed. Then it was just a matter of assembly. And now for the silly part, to mount it where neither one of us can reach it. And there you have it, our way of utilizing every bit of space possible. Next week we're going to make a coat rack. It's going to be a little bit unusual because we're going to try several different things that we enjoy doing. First, we're going to be using some live edge wood. Uh, then we're going to use some epoxy. And we're also going to use some origami and combine all these things into this uh, coat rack. Wish us luck on that. But until then, bye-bye.